Hi, and welcome to ODI Tips and Tricks. I'm Brian Dandino, and I'm going to be walking you through a quick tip and trick for ODI 12C. So hang on, we're going to move on. So here's a little trick that's needed for ODI 12C. Currently, if you were to have a scenario within a package and that scenario had a variable in it, there's a slight issue. So anyone that's been around ODI has had a scenario within a package. That package has multiple steps within it. And let's say that scenario within the package has variables that need the values passed to them in order, in, in order to run correctly. In this case, we're going to use an FTP example. So the first thing that we notice once we tried to pass the variable in is that it doesn't work. Now, slight roadblock here, but good news is we're going to get around it. So the issue right now is with the additional variables tab and underneath that there's an add button. It kind of looks like a little Excel table with one row highlighted. So here's a close up of the additional variables tab. As you can see, I've highlighted the add button, which is currently grayed out, which means you cannot under any circumstance, click that button and add the information in there that you need. Normally this has been working in 10G, 11G, just not 12C. So you really need to figure out how to get this to work because I have clients that just need to pass the variables. So reach out to Oracle. They say, hey, this is a known bug. So I really had to put my thinking cap on here and say, hmm, how in the world am I going to get around this one? It's not like they're going to let me into the background code and just code that button to work. Good news is pretty much every step has a command tab. Within this command tab, you can go out and modify the command that's going to run the command line in the OS. So I got to thinking, why not reach back to the days where I used to run this off the OS command line and just add the variable in there because, well, that's what we do when we run it from command line. So with that said, right, using the format that Oracle so graciously provides us, which is dash project code dot variable name equals value passed encased in quotes. What happens if I add that here? Is it going to work? Let's see. Navigating back to the additional variables tab after I added in the proper information, you can see that it parses correctly to project, variable, and value. Voila, guess what? You can now pass a variable. Now notice that this did not fix the button. I cannot delete. I cannot add another one by simply at clicking on either of these buttons. So it's a workaround, right? It's not a fix. Again, they're not going to let me into the code to fix this for them. So I'm just going to go around. Simple enough, right? Using Oracle's information to make something work. This is nothing new. This has worked in previous versions as the add button has worked in 10 and 11G. It's just somehow got missed in 12C. They're working on fixing it. I have full faith that it'll be fixed, but until then, use this, pass it on. This is pretty much a showstopper for a lot of people. So if you have any questions about this or any other questions that you're facing, maybe with ODI 12C and maybe the concept or it's changed a lot. So if you have any question whatsoever, make a comment down below. Again, I'm Brian Dandino. Have a great day. Oh.